enough. They, you live together for centuries. Sometimes you fought, but sometimes you also live together. There are many vested interests that like the status quo. The, you know, people are getting rich. Uh, the, the, it's, the situation is not bad, at least for the Armenians. Uh, why bother trying to mix things up and, and making things worse? So sometimes there's an inertia in a negotiation, and the current situation is more acceptable than what might, it might lead to. I'd rather go back to the ceasefire, to the, dis, the uh, armistice that was there since 1994, and they ought to talk to each other, and they ought to think that, look, at any moment, this conflict could explode. And once people start shooting at each other, it's unpredictable. Look at Israel-Palestine. Look at Ukraine and Russia. We don't need this in the Caucasus among these people. And so, seriously, they've got to get down and start talking about dealing with this problem. And it's not an impossible problem, but it needs to be seriously negotiated. And maybe the, this kind of conflict at the moment, the shooting war that's going on right now, will be an impetus, an incentive to get the two sides to talk about some longer solution.